Welcome back to another one, guys. We are heading out to the duck blind. Sorry about the wind. You see uh, Nate walking. He's heading towards the blind. Me? Well, I forgot my calls in the truck, so I'm heading back to the truck. But before we get started, I think we need coffee. We always need coffee. Well, I'm hoping tonight's going to be a good night. The sun is shining, which is good. Uh, it's a little, I want to say windy, it's breezy. Never mind that train. The weather seems to be pretty good, so hopefully we get something flying. It's about 4 o'clock. I'm just about at the blind. You mind? Anyway, I'll talk to you a minute when I get there. What a view, eh? All right, well, Nate and I got out here a little earlier today than normal. Uh, hopefully that's gonna change things. What I'm using today is, uh, I got some two and three quarter inch. I'm gonna tell you, ammo is hard to come by. Two and three quarter inch Imperial steel shot, because you obviously you gotta use steel. Uh, these are number four. It says 1,450 feet per second. We don't know if that's real or not, but kinda is what it is. We're gonna use it. Uh, in the last video that we come or that I come out Nate wasn't with me. We got nothing went home decided the call was the problem It wasn't the hunter. So this is the finished call. I told you all I would show you the call when it was done So I got everything glued together. It's just finished in tongue oil because that's kind of the way I like it <coughs> Again nice and raspy the way we like it Anyway, we're getting set up here. Actually, we're already set up. We're just waiting on some ducks to come by. And uh, it's a lot nicer than it was last time we were here. All right, give you guys a bit of an update. It's uh, pushing six o'clock. We got about another hour before it's dark. Uh, still nothing flying by yet. So coming here early didn't really help matters much. But we're gonna stick it out till dark, see what happens. Here's our view. Can't complain about that. Now again, we're expecting the ducks to come from around that corner down there. They usually fly about three to five feet off of water. A lot of times when they get to this corner though, they'll be up and over the corn over there because they know this is here. Well, hopefully we got a few new birds that don't know about this spot. But then again, like I said, they're all heading down there around that bend, probably about 500 meters. And that's where they're gonna roost for the night. So we're still sitting there. At least it's not too cold. The wind's not too bad, and the sun's shining. Can't complain about that. Touch base in a minute. I think this is a good time to tell you that this video was sponsored by Walker Fitness right here in Tilbury. And yeah, I uh, need to frequent there more often, obviously, when it comes to the duck hunting. So my GoPro here overheated last night. Then the battery died. Didn't shoot any ducks. Saw lots. So to alleviate a bit of the problem here. If you're down to the hunter. I think it's the place though. Maybe change the places next time. So it's obviously the next day. We got some yard work to get done. It's the night before Halloween. Not sure when you're watching this, but it is Sunday. Uh, so we're going to get the front yard raked, put up some Halloween decorations. Then they're coming down tomorrow, and up goes the Christmas decorations. Right off the bat. Anyway, let's get this raked up.
Well, I'm sure we uh, might be breaking a couple child labor laws. I got Ella over there working the rake. Not paying her a dime either. Yeah, you're paying me 10 bucks per leaf. 10 bucks per leaf? I ought to be broke in about three seconds. Uh, we're getting done up for Halloween here. This is what we got. Two rows of leaves piled up with a tombstone in each one. Obviously, to simulate the grave. We got our other stuff up there, hanging ghosts. Ella's decorated pumpkins up there. I'm also going to get a red light from the Christmas decorations and put it on the house. Let's go see Ella's pumpkin that she did. I think she did a pretty good job on that. And yes, we are still holding out hope to get the boat out one more time. All right, here's a look at our daytime view. Got our grays and our pumpkins. Over here. All right, daytime view and the nighttime version. Well, it's almost nighttime. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that. Have a safe and happy Halloween. Having said all that, get outside and enjoy the outdoors. Can I record a video here? Later. Not paying her a dime either. Yeah, you're paying me 10 bucks per leaf. 10 bucks per leaf? I ought to be broken about three seconds. <laughs>